Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how to speed up your iPhone running iOS 7. Now iPhone 4 users might want to use all of these because they're extremely desperate because iOS 7 has completely slowed their phone to a crawl. But other iPhone users might also want to check out a few of these uh, little features just to give themselves a bit of a speed boost. Okay, first up we're going to turn off the parallax effect and animations. To do that, go to settings, then you're going to go to general, then accessibility, and then scroll down to reduce motion and turn that on. Now what this does is now you'll see things just fade in and out instead of doing that fun animation they used to do which does cause your phone to do some things. And also the parallax effect where things are kind of shaky and, and have some depth is turned off as well. Okay, next we're gonna turn off uh, translucencies. So you see how like you can kind of see through say this for example. Um, it does take a little bit of processing power to draw that. So let's turn that off as well by going to settings and then general accessibility. Scroll down to increased contrast. Turn that on. And now you'll see it's no longer translucent, which will help a little bit. Then we're going to pull up here, and we're going to actually lock the screen orientation. This will stop the sensor from having to constantly check if the device is rotated or not, and that'll help a tiny bit as well. Another thing you always want to do, and you should just do this anyway to save battery life as well, is pull this up and turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and AirDrop by tapping those corresponding buttons uh, whenever you're not using them. Another thing it's good to do is disable background app refresh. So we're going to go to settings, and we're going to go to general, then background app refresh, and then just, you can either disable it by individual app or just disable them all at once if you're truly desperate. Turn that off. This will stop the apps from running in the background, which will of course save a lot of power and processing power so the phone will run faster. Another thing to do is disable iCloud. So go to settings, go to iCloud, scroll down and start turning these things off. For example, for example documents and data, turn that off. Um, anything else that you feel like you don't really need, turn that off here as well. Um, maybe contacts I would keep, for example, just in case. Um, but do keep in mind that obviously if in doing this, your backups will no longer contain this, so that's up to you if you want to use this or not. Um, but it will save you a little bit um, because it won't be updating these things constantly in the background. Okay, next, we are going to uh, disable location services so that the phone doesn't check for our location constantly. So go to settings, uh, privacy, location services, and you can either turn it off per app um, if you want to do it that way, or you just turn it all off by tapping the switch up at the top. Now keep in mind though that this means that directions and stuff like that won't be as accurate um, or even be disabled in certain apps, so keep that in mind. Okay, next we're going to disable automatic updating from the App Store. So go into settings, scroll all the way down to iTunes and App Store, turn off updates. Uh, and this will of course stop the iTunes and App Store from automatically updating all of your apps in the background, which takes up battery life and processor speed. And that's it. Uh, may not work miracles, but it should help to some extent. If there's anything I missed, please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, or leave them in the comments underneath this video. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.